Okay, here we go. The puzzle that had me... Uh, go to the, the title screen music. It had me, like, this for a long time. That whole thing right there. Yeah, if you linger on this title screen for too long, it takes you back to the intro. Welcome back to La Milana 2. Previously, we did things in Heaven's Labyrinth. We met the Typhon. We killed its pillars. We fought a griffin, got perfume, got an axe. It was a good roundabout day, especially now that I could kill blue skeletons. But before we do what we're gonna do today, let's check in on Eldu's Elpid. Yeah, Samarantos hanging out near the waterfall. Yeah, that statue. Sure. Whatever you say, buddy. Well, also Darna is still here, unlike your harem. Let that sink in for a bit. And then go back in. Alright, it didn't sink in with him yet. He's still thinking about his harem and also Darna. He says Elsa Darna's not doing too hot. That, that's not good news. That's not good news at all. Just check in on Elsa Darna for a little bit, make sure he's still among the living. He's still among the living, he's still repeating his dialogue. Oh, that's a good thing anyway. Maybe that's his disease. He, he can't stop repeating his dialogue. He has nothing new to say anymore. Now, there's one other person I want to check out. I want to go to Phobos. See if he finally has some item hints. He probably doesn't, but you know. Might as well check and make sure. Phobos, you have some item hints now, don't you? Ah, yeah, the Dark Star Lord's puzzle. It's not really done, by the way. There's still secrets remaining. Different ways to interpret the arrangement. So that's a hint that there's more Dark Star Lord's footprints besides the one we did when we fought Ottenra. Okay, we've seen this one before, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we've seen this one. Talking about the seven children. Anything else? One more try. Yeah, that's just about Mobrook's research. We're gonna be doing a different kind of research today. Like, uh, Lamiza. I, I need to take you somewhere. I need to take you somewhere and show you something. These ruins are being bled like a stuck pig, Lamiza. And I got the archaeological trail to prove it. This, right here, is Brahma. Now let's talk about Brahma. Can we talk about Brahma, please? I've been dying to talk about Brahma all week, okay? Brahma? His name keeps on showing up over and over and over again. Every day, Brahma's tablets are getting read by me. Brahma, Brahma, Brahma. This, this whole app, this whole app is Brahma. Look at all the Brahma. And I was like, we gotta meet this guy. We gotta go in there and get the puzzle solution right in his freaking hands, okay? And when we finally do, he's not even on. Are you kidding me? I got tablets full of Brahma. I'm okay. I'm okay. Now, let's turn the Brahma on. That's the first step. He looks different now. I'm upset. This looks like an Omega weapon. And we got Cow. He has Cow on the brain. Yeah, he's not ready yet, though. Um, these eyeball things right here. I wonder if I can scan them. I never tried scanning them. No, I can't. Oh. Um... Yeah, that didn't screw the puzzle, by the way. That's just, uh, that's just a nothing. So, this dude, thinking about cows, if you do the puzzle wrong, you get that little skull thing right there. The way you're supposed to do this is you're supposed to solve the four ages. We're not ready to do that. But we got the golden age, with the golden mask. We have the silver mask for the silver age. As you can see, virtue is measured akin to ox hooves. There's less virtue in the Silver Age. Even less in the Bronze Age. And there's like none, or just one, in the Steel Age. So that was like your first hint on the ages. We got other hints too. 
But uh, that's hint enough for that. What I did realize is I'm going to need a heck of a lot more weights if we're going to be doing this today. So those five eyes correspond to the five gods Brahma was speaking to. Which uh, we finally learned about in its entirety last video. When we met Chaos. So we're going to have to head to the, the gods. We're going to have to find them. That's the closest one. Well, you know what? Let's just go with the one we were at before. Heaven's Labyrinth. We're gonna go see Chaos. And oh, oh, by the way, I was gonna do a fade out thing, but I just remembered something. This room, it, it kind of automatically solves itself now. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I had to hit that pedestal to make that thing move. But I think I solved the puzzle wrong, but still got it right. So when the griffin dies, this, the puzzle just fixes itself for you. So that's some interesting facts. Luckily, I don't have to spin the Heaven's Labyrinth to get where we need to go. Because I don't want to be tinking around with any spinning. We're on a Brahma mission. It's Chaos! Yep, I have something for him! I am going to ask him, what is creation? And he shoots purple out of himself. I heard a puzzle solution sound. So he represents chaos, and he spewed purple when he remembered creation. That's what you're supposed to do with the egg of creation. So, like, remind them that they met a Brahma. Once in their life, they've met a Brahma, and they're like, Oh, purple! Yeah! I know that guy. Let's head to Takamagahara Shrine. Because we need to ask Steve a very important question. I wonder if there's anything else around here. I don't think so. I got the ring. Alright, Steve! Uh, I'll be with you in a second. Because I'm getting wrecked. Alright, right up here. Oh, great and powerful Steve! What is creation? Creation is red. His is the red life of creation. Because he just went ahead and made life. And he said, yeah, that pretty much does it. Actually, Amaterasu did that for him, but, you know, she's like the the secretary of Steve. Steve's secretary. So, let's go to, um... Icefire Treetop. We're going to the Niffleheim area. Right down here. Yeah, they said, uh, oh, I, oh, wow, I, I could double jump after I get hit. I didn't know that. Anyway... It says Yimmer, but Brahma was talking to an Odin. But as I remember from Divine Fortress, there's one Odin that's more Odin than the other Odins. So, Yimmer, what is creation? Creation is Yellow Death. That is indicated by the, the tablet in Hall of Malice that we read. It said that uh, one of the Odins said, Yeah, we killed Yimmer and made the world after it. So, therefore, death. Next place is going to be... Dark Star Lord's Labyrinth. Or Dark Star Lord's Mausoleum, not Labyrinth. Heaven's Mausoleum. We're gonna have to go and have a chat with Atu. I think this is the shortcut over here. I see the stairs. We need to go to Atum's room. There it is. Um, yeah, Altar of Atum. Hey Atum, what is creation? Green Battle! We read that tablet just the other video. That that he, he turned into a green snake. Also, this is the power of the crucifix. The, the glossary kind of glitched out the last time, so we didn't get the soul data until this now. Anyway... All we have is Abzu! Luckily, I have a totem in place for him. So, he shouldn't be too far off. This side. Ancient Chaos. Abzu is hanging out right here. Abzu, what is creation? Blue water. I forget where we read the Abzu one. I think that was in uh, et Eternal Prison. So we talked to all the gods. They recollected. The trial of recollection is now finished. We could go back to Ancient Chaos and check out with Brahma some more. Because now we're ready. Oh, I went the wrong way. Wrong teleport. Because now we have everything we need to solve the Brahma puzzle. 
You got all the recollections by being a really loud noise and disco lasers. We know the ages. Now it's time to solve this thing. As you can see, all the gods are present. Now we have to make items using the gods. So we have four items here. Let's start with the Mala Prayer Beads. Battle and life. I believe that's what it is. So green is battle. It's already there. Red is life. So we need to get red and green shining on the Mala Prayer Bead spot, which is going to be the Kali Yuga. It's the only item that doesn't have an age. Because Zelda broke it somehow. Anyway, it should be the Mala Prayer Beads. And it is! That goes on the... It goes on the steel arm. I wonder if that actually even matters. No, I think these he these arm these heads are just for the hints. So this was supposed to be the Kali Yuga. Yeah, that's the Kali Yuga. Next is the Bronze Age, the Bar the Para Yuga, Dava Para Yuga, Diva Para Yuga, whatever. You know what? I'm gonna use the whip for this because it's a little bit easier to manipulate these things. So, let's take a look at our items. We know the common Dalu water pot belongs to the Copper Age, the Bronze Age. So the common Dalu water pot is Battle and Chaos. So we're going to need green. Give me that green. Right over here. And we need Chaos, which is purple. Get over there with the green. And this should make a common Dalu water pot. It does! Next is going to be the Trade of Yuga, Yuga Silver Age. So the Silver Age was the Vados text. When we reach death, we will return to water. So we need death and water. That's yellow and blue. This one should be relatively easy to hit. There we go. That should be a Vados text. And it is! And then finally the Golden Age. The Lotus Age. The Padma Lotus. Life entangled with chaos. So we're gonna need purple. Get purple over here. We're also gonna need red. You could probably brute force this thing if you had like tons and tons of weights. But I solved it. Solution. Now, how do I submit solution? Did I do this wrong? Or I do it, it's right. Pretty sure there was supposed to be a pedestal that popped up. You know what? I think I was supposed to be spinning the head. Well. Well. I think I might have gotten ahead of myself a little bit here. There we go. Yeah, I had, I had to spin the heads as I was doing the ages. Otherwise, it wasn't going to work. So, take, keep that in mind. When you're doing the steel, make sure it's the steel head. When you're doing bronze, make sure it's the bronze head. And so forth. Hey, Phobos, I did a thing. I solved the Brahmish Trials. We got a full map of Eglana. It's got some certain locations on it. Oh, we could check our, our map. Hey, there's something here now. There's a skull in a hidden room. There's a little tiny blue skull. Look at that. That's Eglana, the upside down tree. Ice fire tree top and eternal prisons down here. You've got uh, the roots of Yggdrasil up here. Hey, wait a second. What, what the heck is this? What the heck is this up here? What is that? That's not in Eglana. That's weird. And here's some of the dungeons. We see, um... We see some shiny spots in... There's a blue shiny spot in those ravens up there. That is Divine Fortress. This Leviathan-looking dude here is, um... He's, uh, Shrine of the Frost Giants. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's Shrine of the Frost Giants. These twin snakes right here, that is Gate of the Dead. Yeah, I know, it doesn't look much like a Gate of the Dead, but trust me on this. 
got the internal prison gloom. That's the double wing symbol. And take a look at the, the middle here. You see this going on? You see the Infernal Fiend, the heart-shaped dude. It's biting at the neck of a dragon. The Kamigahara Shrine. That is a hint for what we're going to be doing in the next video. Because there is uh, an item I need to get in there. So that's the, the front side map. Now we can go ahead and take a look at the back side map. I remember this. This is uh, Ancient Chaos. We're in it right now. We can't see a logo right now. Oh, yes, we can. See? Same thing. The Reaper hand here would be Eternal Prison Doom. We haven't found that tablet yet, but that's indeed the back side of the Eternal Prison. We got, um... We haven't been here. This is Hollow Malice, because that looks like a mother-like. And then we got, um... Dark Star Lord's Mausoleum that looks like an Anunnaki symbol. And then finally we got that dragon thing, which is uh, Valhalla. Notice there was one symbol there that was a little odd. That's a reference to that mystery location. I know where that is, so we might as well just go ahead and do that now. It's not in Eglana! Yeah! It's somewhere else! It's somewhere familiar. Kinda familiar. Might sound familiar. There's a tablet that'll point us in the right direction, but we have the power of Brahma now. So, Brahma gave us a pretty big hint. That symbol had to do with a ruin around here. Semaranti, you know something about ruins? No. No, that's not my answer. What did he say about that? I, I didn't see that second part. Maybe I should be reading my stuff before I get around. So he's checking out things that have already been dug up. He's not doing any more research today. But right here. Is this something he dug up? And it might look interesting to some people. Inferno Cavern! We're in La Milana! Well, it counts as a surface map, and I see a red mark on our map here. And there's the final sage. At least in the data form. Giltorio. We haven't met him yet, so we might as well not read his data right now. Heh. <laughs> Snake person. Not quite Nuwan, not quite Tiamat. So, we were told to scream wishes in this room. The problem is we can't scream wishes. So, that's gotta get solved later. We're gonna need a cog for that, we're gonna need some time powers, I think. So, that's all the hints that we were getting. Oh, we had that um, crystal skull in the uh, Ancient Chaos. You know what, let's do that. Now that we solved the Brahma with lightning speed and awesome mentality, we could do this thing right here. Would you stop stabbing the air? I met the Brahma. Thank you. We got these two beasts. If one recedes, it's not going to get you anywhere. But what if we did both of them? Like this. Open the door. Get to this room here. The Wall of Silence! Don't make a noise. It's the Wall of Silence. You're making noise. Stop that. Don't make noise. No noise is to be made in the Wall of Silence. <laughs> I could have sworn that would have been the answer. Just stop. I think I gotta make everything stop moving. That's what the Wall of Silence means. Kill everyone. Why? I'm not quite sure how I answered this puzzle the last time, either. I break that pot, and we get a crystal skull. I, I don't understand the answer to the solution. If someone else does, please let me know, because it's going to drive me insane. Even though we've already been there, it's going to do it again. This time I don't have the solution for you. I can't help you. I at least got a tablet here. 
Nimmer's well is the well of divine liquor. Mother's wish with a howl for what is missing. That sounds like a mantra. I'm gonna keep that. So, next time on La Milana 2, it's been a short video this time because we were just solving Brahma. We spent 20 minutes on Brahma, more or less. I could get rid of all this data now. Next time on La Milana 2, I, I want to work towards getting the cog. Because we have all of our answers for that now, too. Good night, folks.